Greetings guys and gals. In the previous tutorial I showed you how to set up your own region. Okay, on the OS grid. Now you should have this if everything went to plan, which it should have done. Um, so now let's go ahead and change our um, parcel name. I'm going to call mine um, Steams. <laughs> now I'm actually going to leave it blank. You can leave it blank if you want to. I prefer to leave it blank for now. Um, access, you want to shut that down, otherwise people are going to be able to get in here and you haven't even developed it yet, so for now just lock it down, allow group access if you want to, add your friends in here, like blah 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 blah, you know, search for that person, add your friend, um, good to go. Now I've changed the sky as well because it can be kind of um, frustrating if the sky keeps changing when you're trying to do things, so to do that click on world, go to region details, environment, use the following settings, sky, day cycle, fixed sky, and just uh, you know choose from one of these. I'm going to choose a sunset because I love a sunset. Okay, click apply. And that's good to go. Right, so now, if you look at the minimap, you can get to the minimap by pressing Control Shift and M. Control Shift M for mic. As you can see, I'm now facing north. But if you want to set up a region next to yours, you're going to need to know where it actually is. To find that out, go to your um, folder where your OS grid is. Remember, it's C OS grid. Um, name of your sim. In my case, Steamworks bin folder, okay, and in here type regions dot ini. Oh shit, my, I can't even spell regions, can I? Regions dot ini, okay, and here it is. Right click and open with WordPad, not Notepad. If you open it with Notepad, you will just get a jumbled mess. So right click, open with WordPad. I've already done that because I have put in a bogus IP address here. This IP address is bogus. I don't want to obviously give my IP address away. So <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, this is on here where my um, this is the these are the coordinates of my region. As you can see, it's right here. Okay. So, in here, just look for your uh, in region coordinates and, and then just find them on here. It works like a real map. You know, X by Y. You know. So, say for example, if your coordinates were 10039, 32, keep going across till you get to 3, which is obviously here, 39 by 10017. Up, one zero three nine. Down, sorry, one zero zero three nine. There, eleven, sixteen, seventeen. There we go, and that's how you find it. So, um, left to right for the first set of digits, up and down for the second. So here is mine. Steamworks 10049 and what I've done is I've taken a I've pressed print screen or you know I've taken a screen capture and I've put it in Photoshop okay and I'm just gonna circle it so that I don't have to keep looking for it you know I can just find out where it is by circling it this is very helpful if you want to have multiple sims otherwise you will not be able to find it you have to keep looking for it every time so here it is as you can see right there under my other sim right here so I'm just going to circle it like so add new layer it just keeps things nice and organized so this is where my sim is okay um, then you're good to go save that out so when you zoom out when you fit on screen you can be like okay there it is there's my sim you might want to use a thicker brush Okay, so yeah, anyway, so now that you've found your sim, right.
right here. Okay, that is north, south, east, west. Okay, as you can see here, we're standing facing north. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our regions INI file again. Okay, copy all of this. Control copy. Go down to Control V. Now it has to have a different name. So, for example, let's call this Steamworks North. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to get our coordinates. So here we are. Directly above us will be north. 10049 by 10052. And because they're close together, we've already got the first set of digits. All you really need to do is just change the last two digits, unless you want it to be over here. That will work as well. But most people prefer to have their SIM next to each other. So 10049 as you can see here. Okay, right. So now that we've done that, we need to change this as well. Each SIM has to have a different UUID. To get that, we just go to this link here. And this is a UUID generator. So we want one UUID for now. Click generate. Okay, a couple of times. And this will give you a unique UUID. Okay. So just copy this and replace it with there we go. See as you can see now they're different. They need to be different. The names need to be different. The next thing that needs to be different is the port. Our main sim, which is this one, is currently on internal port 9001. So this needs to be on a different port. In this case, I want to have it on 9002. Okay. Now, what you need to do next is you need to... Um, go here to um, see. 192... Ba, 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 ba. Here it is. This is my router. So I now need to add this port to my router. Okay. Data. NAT. Port mapping. As you can see, I've already added it. I've added up to 10 different ports. Just to be on the safe side. Um, they need to be TCP and UDP. Um, your IP address of your network. Um, okay. There we go. That's added. Close this down now. Excuse me. Close tab. Okay. So that's added. Now everything else is fine. So what you want to do now is you want to go to File and Save. It will ask you if you want to replace it. Click Yes. Okay. So now that you've saved that, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to restart your server. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, so now we are restarting our server. Um, let's just right click, run as administrator. And it will ask you if you want to add the um, new grid. Okay. Okay. Do you wish to join Region Steamworks North to an existing estate? Yes, I do. Name of estate to join. Just type this in. It'll be different for you, obviously, because your name's different on, on your um, region. So mine is Steamworks. Okay. Now it will join them both together. And here we go. It's now up and running. And if we go to the map here and we press F5 to refresh, you can now see that a new sim has appeared directly above my um, current sim. We click on Angstrom.
Okay. Log in. And after this, I will show you how to delete a region. And I do recommend that you do this even if you want to delete your main region because if you don't, then as I stated previously, I believe, it will stay on the um, OS grid for three weeks and you won't be able to make a new region called that. As you can see here now, north, we now have our sim connected directly to our um, other sim. Of course, when you go into this, things are going to change back to normal. So you're going to have to manually go to each sim and change everything um, to how you want it to be. Okay, so we're currently in Steamworks North. I'm going to change this back to um, delete this. Access. Deny access. Okay. Um, world. Region details. Environment. Use. Fixed. Um, 6 p.m. Apply. Okay, there we go. Now, let's say that you wish to, you look at your map, okay, <clears throat> and you think, oh, I don't want it there, it's in the wrong place, I want it below me. What you can do to, to um, delete this region, and I recommend doing this for all regions, otherwise they're just going to stay there and you will not be able to occupy that space. So please bear that in mind, you have to manually delete that region like this. So to delete this region, I'm actually going to fly out of this region now because I'll get kicked out of um, the OS grid because that um, region is going to go bye-bye. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the console window, which is right here, and I'm going to type in delete dash, that's the minus sign, region so delete dash region space steamworks north which as you can see is the name of this region steamworks dash north steamworks dash north and if I hit enter there it goes it's been purged from the OS grid you can now uh, make another region there if you wish to um, if you wish to delete this region which if you think to yourself, okay, I want to delete my main region, I want to start again, I would do the same thing. Like, I would go delete region steam works. I'm not going to hit enter because I don't want to delete this. So, if I wanted to delete the region that I'm on right now, I would type delete dash region space name of my sim. Okay. And that's how you do that. So, yeah. In the next tutorial, I will show you how you can um, make it so that your land is flat and joined together, so that you don't have like ocean between them, and it looks more seamless. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys.